Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to Infinite Warfare. So, this video that you're going to be watching right here may sound a lot like what Merc Music's going to be making soon, which is going to be his RIP Infinite Warfare video like he's been doing with the last few Call of Duties. That's not what I'm intending to do here, I'm not intending to basically copy him, but I am going to be making sort of a similar video or at least my take on what I thought about Infinite Warfare over the last year. Infinite Warfare was a game to me that I never really cared about at any point. I had my moments here and there, but I never had that true passion to care for the game. In fact, I never had a passion for the game, even before it came out. I didn't have the hype train going, I didn't have the, the beta, you know, I didn't have anything. I just had the game. I just left it sitting here, you know, on my Xbox for the last year and didn't touch it. I played MWR, sure, but I didn't play Infinite Warfare at all. <laughs> I, uh, in fact, not even rank 55 or max level, you know, by default in the game because I played that little. The game for me, basically, the way I see it as is probably the worst Call of Duty and also the worst video game I've ever played and that is not to be harsh it's just to be honest because ever since old Infinity Ward left Call of Duty essentially and was replaced by the new Infinity Ward the only new Infinity Ward game that I've been somewhat okay with was MW3 and I love MW3 you guys know that I love the Modern Warfare series but that wasn't the old Infinity Ward. The old Infinity Ward made COD 4 and MW2 and then parts of MW3, I think. But a majority of it came from new Infinity Ward and they had help from Sledgehammer. That's how Sledgehammer got, you know, their idea of, you know, to make advanced warfare or just a Call of Duty in general is because when they participated with MW3, Activision, I guess, struck a deal with them. But new Infinity Ward and me have never really clicked. I never really did like any of their games. I mean, Ghost was okay for a little, and then I just never played Infinite Warfare at all. I see this game as a broken, just a broken everything, broken shooter, broken Call of Duty, broken game in general. I know the game has had improvements over the last year, and I know that a lot of Infinite Warfare fanboys you know, exist, believe it or not, but this game is just not a game to me. It's more of a, it's a futuristic gambling casino, and that doesn't even work half the time. The game promotes supply drops, it promotes the exosuits, it promotes, you know, MLG, but it doesn't promote, you know, one-on-one -on -one gunplay or, like, being strategic or goofing around. It's just promoting being a tryhard and buying supply drops and, you know, copying things like Titanfall and Overwatch and yada yada. I know that COD World War II is going to probably be actually a decent game just because it is boots on the ground, it is in the past, but we still will have supply drops and that's still sketchy. So like, Infinite Warfare is probably the worst we'll ever get from Call of Duty for a long time. Probably, like, there's probably going to be nothing worse than Infinite Warfare. I highly doubt that any of the development studios even Infinity Ward, like, which is declared the worst studio by everyone's opinion and mine, but I don't think they'll ever be able to make this bad of a Call of Duty game again, even if they tried. Like, because this game, the way that they handled it was the perfect definition of terrible. I know, once again, that there is going to be some people that like this game. There's people that love this game. There's people that say that this is, like, one of the best games they've ever played, but that doesn't change the fact that this game was promoted and taken care of so badly when the game first was announced just the infinite warfare trail that we all know what happened with that i got three million plus dislikes which makes it the second most disliked video on youtube and disliked most disliked video for gaming ever so this game already had a bad reception just from the fact that it existed the beta was horrible i had tons of lag um MV4, mv4 spam k bar spam people were abusing the exosuit and basically jumping as high enough to give jesus a high five it's like it's basically the worst of the worst with this game for me 
I've had my moments where I like the game, sure, but this game, for me, I never clicked with it like a normal Call of Duty player or a normal gamer. Sure, people would be like, oh, heck, you know, it's a new game, you know, I'm going to play it. I didn't even play it, like, casually either. I just let sit there and collect dust. I made my last Infinite Warfare video back in, like, March and September now, and I haven't played the game, like, at all ever since then. I mean, I played it, like, once, like, in July, because, like, me and Jake were just like, you know, yeah, screw it, we'll just play it for fun. And I kind of did enjoy myself, but not really. I just think that the game really could be better executed, and they definitely did patch it over time. Don't get me wrong, this game is a lot better than it was before. It has, you know, everything that should now, and I appreciate that from Infinity Ward. But it should have been like that from the start. I admit that the hate was kind of blind, but it was honest, though. We were being honest with, you know, the developer saying, we're tired of the future, bring us back. So that message was obviously heard. But do I think that this game should have had as much hate that it did? Absolutely not. The game is not the worst game to the point where it needs that many dislikes. It's not the worst game to the point where people like just only play it to make fun of it. it. There is genuine people that I can think of off the top of my head that do love this game. It didn't need the hate it had or still has, but it definitely does need to be addressed to at least a certain degree. You can't say that this game did not have a bad launch, a bad beta, and a bad just everything. Everything about this game was bad to start and then fixed over time, because the beta was awful, the fact that they made this game super supply drop and, and competitive heavy when they couldn't even add combat records and leaderboards in for like six months was just absurd. That is beyond stupid, and there is absolutely no excuse for that. The fact that you can put in 700 plus supply drop items, but not put in combat records and a leaderboard or you know any of that stuff, that's just inexcusable. But the zombies was okay. I'll probably play the campaign before I uninstall because there's no point having it on my hard drive anymore. But the way I see this game is that it was probably the worst Call of Duty. I don't see anybody topping it in terms of how bad they can make a Call of Duty. You can't make a Call of Duty worse than this. I highly doubt it. And if they do, then I don't even know. I, I won't even know what to say if this, if this is actually not the worst Call of Duty in a few years. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to make a video saying my last, you know, goodbye to Infinite Warfare. I'll probably play the campaign, but after that... I'm, gonna, I'm probably never going to touch this game again for any reason. I just don't see myself playing it for fun, the challenge, or whatever, because it just it won't be worth it for any degree. Playing it for myself, playing for others, because just nobody likes this game for whatever reason, you know, and it's just pointless at this point. So, this is just my honest thoughts and opinions. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but I was waiting for the correct time. I wanted to wait for the game to be officially over before I said anything. I gave my opinions when they were appropriate. For example, I gave my review of the beta after the beta was over. I gave my review of the game now that the game's officially technically over. So, the game... I really don't want to be harsh with this game. In fact, I still have it on my screen right now. I don't want to be harsh on this game. I'm trying not to say it's the yo know, worst game ever. I'm trying to be very careful when I say because I know Infinity Ward definitely tried with this game. They put their blood, sweat, and tears in this game, and I don't want to see Infinity Ward fail. It's just not right. But you can't, you can't lie about this game. You can't say that this game is perfect. You can't say that this game is not buggy, glitchy, messed up, or any of those things. It's just that, like, really, you've had your moments, I've had my moments, but deep down, we all know that this game never really stood a chance compared to any other games that were out, you know, out there, like Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, Destiny, any of those games. MWR was really the only reason that anybody bought this game, and I don't even play that anymore because they ruined that too. I mean, the game's somewhat okay. In comparison to Infinite Warfare, but when they add supply drops, that just kind of killed the game for me. So, yeah, that's basically my review of Infinite Warfare. 
this is probably the most real video I'll ever get on a video game. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyways guys, this is going to be today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and hopefully Call of Duty will definitely improve with Sledgehammer's game this year with COD World War 2 and Infinite Warfare, well, we'll just put this down in history, definitely for sure. Um, not necessarily good history, but it will definitely go down in history. And uh, I guess this is our final goodbye to Infinite Warfare. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.